Hello guys, it's Remy. For the people who don't know me, I'm Japanese and I use this YouTube channel and social media to share my love and information about Japan. But to be honest, I hated Japan so much and left here when I was 18. So today I'd like to share with you my experience on why I hated Japan and what made me change my mind to love Japan. So let's start. So, I was born and grew up in Sendai in Tohoku region. It's a beautiful place, my family is wonderful, but I had a very hard time growing up. At school, kids who express themselves a lot or who stand out weren't welcomed very much. And as I was originally a tomboy, talkative and a carefree child, maybe a little too much for Japanese, one day my teacher told me that she and my classmates dislike me and she told me to change my personality so that I'll be liked by everyone. Also, there were many rules and expectations from the adults. So all I did was trying to meet somebody's expectations, be liked by others rather than expressing or pleasing myself. So as you can imagine, by the teenage time, my self-esteem became so low. I'm sorry to tell you guys this, and maybe other Japanese people's experiences are different, but I really hated where I was. Hate is a strong word, but that's what I felt. So I ran away from Japan and started to live in Australia for two years as a student, and later I lived in Dubai, UAE for 10 years as an airline crew, where I got to travel all over the world. And those experiences changed my life completely. Most of the people I met were so laid back, open-minded and warm, and I learned many different ways of thinking. And I started to feel good about myself for the first time in my life. Also, I lived so far away from Japan for such a long time, I realized how unique and beautiful our country is and how nice and warm Japanese people really are but they just behave and express it in a different way. And I started to appreciate all the things I didn't even pay attention when I was in Japan. So now I love Japan so much from the bottom of my heart, including a negative aspects, because I know there is no perfect country. So I like to share what I love about Japan and connect people from different countries because I learned immersing ourselves in the different cultures will give us the positive impact in our lives. That's why I started this YouTube channel to grow this community. Even though my channel is still very small and I have 380 subscribers as of today, my subscribers are so precious and I'm so grateful for them. And once I have over 1,000 subscribers, I can do the live videos. And my dream is to do the live stream from Mount Fuji, fly drones over the countryside of Japan, and do collaborations with other YouTubers and more. But I started a full-time job recently, and I still only use my iPhone 6s to shoot and edit videos. It might take time to upload videos. So please bear with me. And during this pandemic, I think there are many people who have many things that you really want to do, but you don't have enough time or money to be able to do that. But I learned the important thing is not to focus on what we don't have or what we can't do, but instead try to look at what we have and what we can do, and do it one by one at our own pace. This is also what I would like to share through this channel. So please let me know if you have any comment after watching this video. You can share your own story or experience and I'll definitely read it too. Or just please like or subscribe to this channel and see how this community and channel grow over time. And these are some of the future plans of my videos. So please look forward to it. So thank you very much for watching to the end. And looking forward to see you again. Please take care. はい、じゃあまたね。バイバイ。さよなら。